is working on some kind of. Well, I'm not. Kelvin could speak to that more than me. The pro project we're working on now. Yeah, the we're working on. A, we're uh, using getting ready to take out part of the exhibits on the third floor and and do some Amicon exhibits on the third floor. We've been working up there. Um, we've had three work sessions so far, middle of the week, to uh, just to start preparing the room. We're creating a sort of a uh, semi-naturalistic environment up there with hanging hanging cloths with uh, to, to recreate some trees and s sky pattern and stuff. So we've been working on that. We're getting I've got the fabric cut and. Uh, we're hanging wires on the ceiling to hang that all on. And uh, there are a couple of ladies that are going to come in to today and we'll talk about dyeing of those fabrics. So, what about the website? Oh, the website. We're also um, working on a website which will contain a ECD section. And within that ECD section, there'll be a an archive that you folks will be able to get a password and login information and be able to go there and upload any kind of documents, photographs, uh, Word documents, PDF files, uh, lots of different formats of files that you can upload into the archive. And uh, when we get a body of materials into the archive, we'll be able to pick and choose from those materials in order to, to use some of those things on the third floor. Part of the, the third floor plan is to, to do a large painted on map on the back wall There'll be a series of, uh, of plexi like uh, print holders that we'll be changing out on a regular basis. So um, there'll be slots for, for standard size images or poems or something to be printed on that we'll be able to just pull things from the archive, print them up, uh, walk up there, pull one out, put one in. Uh, also we plan in the future to to use a, a, a flat screen monitor on the wall up there to be able to create changing programs that might be video clips of group activities or it might be um, a, a constantly running slideshow of images, uh, paintings, people doing field work. So it, it opens up a whole realm of possibilities in terms of, of what we can do up there to, to showcase the group and showcase Amplify. Okay, so we're back to work. So here's the exhibit flyer for the, thank you Kelvin, for the Western Illinois University exhibit. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't get to go see it, but assumed it was, it, I heard it was very effective. Okay, here's the Cash Core Discovery. This was in Southern Illinois. This was, this was a very difficult group to assemble because Southern Illinois is huge and very diffuse. It's also the poorest economic center in, in Illinois and getting, getting people together and having them actually pay money to do something was a chore. So we, when we started this, we didn't think we were going to have a go until the last week. But 20 people, we had five people, then we had 20, 21 or 22 people registered the last week for this. So it was a, it was a and this, is, this has been a very effective group. They didn't, they didn't want to do the exhibit concept because Emicron had done the exhibit concept. So they wanted to do, a, 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 there's a new $4 million visitor center down there that has an exhibit room in it. They wanted to do their own panel. So what we did, just like I gave you last week, I gave you a blank sheet of paper and each, each member got three panels to, to do with what they, what they wanted. Uh, and each one had to be a theme around the cache. Here's one called the natural beauty of the cache. This is the gentleman with the aesthetic sense of a shovel, if you remember, remember him. <laughs> and here's his second panel with his journal entry. And we ended up with 31 or 32 panels in the exhibit. These were 24 by 36 inches. Here's another one. We did one just on red-winged blackbirds. Here's one, this was a retired geologist. He, he did one on the landscape surrounding the river. You know, he's got a little geology here and so forth. Here's Mr. Luber. This is Trash from the Cash. He actually did three panels on trash and a sculpture. Oh, yes. So we actually, um, we, we had a kind of a sinuous picture. He did a mural on one side of a 
nice river and mural on the other side with the trash. He put the trash on one side, and so you could see the kind of the, the transition. It was a very interesting and very effective uh, piece. Here's us putting up the exhibit in the, this is Bob Luber, the trash on the cash. Here we are putting up the exhibit in the visitor center. And there, this was on all four walls of the uh, Cache River State Natural Area. Here's this Cache River State Natural Area, and that was, they weren't done. Uh, there's a mile trail behind it, and they needed some interpretive signage. So the Cache Corps of Discovery spent a year walking this trail <coughs> at least once or twice a week, and they simply wrote down, documented what they saw, took photos, or whatever, and at the end of the year, they all got together. They came up with 14, it seems to be a theme, 14. They came up with 14 points where they were kept consistently seeing the same thing over and over again. And then they got together, and anybody that had information on that point, they created an interpretive panel. And this was, you know, done on, you know, done on aluminum outdoor kind of stuff. We did the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the work on that, but they created the panel, and, and there was one on dragonflies, there was one on herons and egrets, there was one on pond vegetation. That, so, see how this worked. They simply accumulated their information and they put it all together in their, in their own words. Here we are putting up the interpreter panels. Uh, there's Bob Lubers again. The panels, how big are those panels? Uh, they were eight and a half by 11. And each one of them, we produced it for $25. We, got, we have a company in town that does that. So it was, you know, the Cash River State Natural Area, they bought, they bought these, which were, this was about $100 a piece. And then we produced the panels and, and contributed the panels. So it was it's kind of a joint effort between the, the site. Uh, here's what they look like. They're still up, they're still doing well. They initially wanted to do one for every season, but the, the uh, Staff down at down there, they have what they have two people for 14,000 acres, and they didn't want to change these out every four times a year because they simply didn't have the staff to do it. So we only have the summer aspect right now. Here's what they looked like when they were completed. Those are replaceable. Yeah, so you just you just take two screws out and you can pull it out and replace as they wear out. They weren't done. Uh, we wanted to raise money for the cash, so we got a small grant from the Michael Wolf Foundation, and then they produced note cards uh, with their images, and they were $2 each and, and six or $10, and, and for a uh, $1,400 grant, we had produced enough to generate about $20,000 worth of income, and those are still selling, and they, they sell well, and all the wineries in Southern Illinois have them, and so forth. And then their, their biggest project to date is, is the Cache River Visitor Center. It's a, it has a seven hundred thousand dollar exhibit in it, but it had a huge. Wall. When you walk in the building, there's this huge wall in front of you. It was fifteen feet by fifteen feet, and it was blank. And and they wanted. So we we came up with the idea of creating an illuminated map for this area. And basically, this is all of their work. This is this color pencil, watercolor, and they did everything. They did every aspect of this. And I'll show you what it looks like in a moment. And it, we got printed on vinyl. It's 13 by 13 feet. And it's an extremely effective. The first thing you come in when you see that, you see that exhibit. What town is it? Pardon? What town is it? Uh, what town? Nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> it's, it's between oh, Cyprus and little grand chain, if that helps. Diana <laughs> <laughs> is not that far away. It's, south, it's on Route 37 South. Uh, if, Michael, if you can turn on the on the light there for me. Yes. Uh, I'll show you that. Yeah. I'll put these, post these up. Here's here's the panel on, on the cash people. So you want to stick that in the back. And here's the. Uh, Here's the process by which we went. We needed a, well, I, I'm going to show you that later. So here's the, uh, here's the finished product. This is a, a mock-up, obviously. And as I said, we, we blew it up to, to 13 by 13 feet. 
And one of the things that we did for the opening of this, we had an opening and there were, there were a couple hundred people there. And they wanted something to make this interactive. Well, how do you make a 13 by 13 foot banner interactive? So uh, my colleague, Carrie Nixon, took this and she outlined it all. She made a coloring poster for kids, to give the kids on this. So I, I brought a sample for everybody. Uh, and the, the good news is it was great. The kids loved it. The bad news is they just sit down and start coloring. <laughs> yeah. And mom would say, well, how long are you going to be here? Until <laughs> I'm done, you know. So anyway, so we'll, we'll, we'll post this up, and I'll talk more about that in a little bit. Okay. So we're not, this is the second, this is the third, this is the Lost Mound discovery. This one again was a very difficult group to assemble because Northwestern Illinois is a very diverse community, mostly made up of retired Chicago people. You know anything about retired Chicago people? It's a tough audience. Yeah. Right? Any of you are retired Chicago people? <laughs> Good, because I can say, I mean, they, they, they sort of, you know, well, we've done that, we know everything, we moved over here, you know, it was a very, I mean, this guy's an aeronautical engineer. This guy's a retired nuclear physicist from the Fermi lab. This lady's a hairdresser. Uh, these, these, these people were artists. These people taught English in the inner city of Chicago. So Sue's going to teach them to write? <laughs> I mean, it was a curmudgeonly grumpy bunch for a long time. This, this gentleman here was a retired school administrator. I mean, gee, you know. I'm like, holy crap, what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> Well, it didn't take long before they, you know, they became just like everybody else. I mean, it, 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 it worked out very well. And we had a, an exhibit, and it was at the uh, Joe Davies County Historical Society. Uh, offered us an exhibit space, and here comes Sue to the exhibit opening. And here they, they used the panel concept also, except they did their own Panel. They did all their own design and so forth. We didn't have to do anything except produce the panels. And they used the same, they, you know, they, they were, and one lady was a uh, ceramicist, so she took everything that we taught her and she made pots. She interpreted everything in clay. One lady was a fabric artist, so she interpreted everything that we did in through her eyes. So, you know, it, it, it worked out extremely well. There was a couple of older ladies in there. They were in their 70s, and there was one trail at, at Lost Mound. It's the old Savannah Army River Depot. And they walked this trail twice a week, all season. They documented every plant on it, when it started blooming and when it stopped blooming. They generated this diagram so you could walk, you know, you could see what was blooming, and they, they made it color coordinated. And then I forgot to bring the panel in. They made a, a brochure about it. I forgot to bring one of those. So that was that was their project and then their exhibit. Here's the Allerton Core of Discovery. This was the uh, 2008, number four. And their first project was, and this one freaked them out really well because <laughs> they had to produce the Illinois and whole issue of the <coughs> Stewart Magazine by themselves. Okay? And Jane was involved in that. It, it was not a trivial task, because one, people aren't used to deadlines. You know, you guys don't like deadlines, right? They weren't used to being edited. <laughs> they weren't used to having the work excerpted. But it turned out very well. I brought only, I don't have any of these left. So I'll put this back on the demonstration table. And their project now is they're creating uh, displays for the Allerton Park Visitor Center. They just finished one on wildflowers. They're doing one on butterflies. They're going to do one on birds. These are. 36 by 80 panels that hang, hang on the wall in, in the visitor center. So that's their current project. All right. And there's the Rivers Corps with, and the, the Arboretum Corps, which I have, I'm not going to talk about because they, they're still working on stuff. So those are some things that people have done. Here's some other concepts. There's an exhibit that we have in our in our hallway in our building, you know, it's just a, a mosaic and grid with some quotes. Here's one where we did some montages, so you do some incorporation where you simply take pieces of photos and blend them together. 
here's one where you can, you can do this for Imaquan. We have a cross section of the place, and then you have photos showing what these places actually look like. You know, I mean, we're just, and then there's finally your concept. What is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to depict? And, and the good news is you're coming into this uh, group that's already working on stuff, so you can insert, I guess, your influence on all of this. Okay. Questions? For, and what we what we normally do is we normally did a had a group that became the kind of the leaders of the group. Uh, this group already has sort of that, so we haven't done that. We'll let you guys sort out who the leadership group will be and. I'm going to suggest to this group, and I think it's already in progress, Kelvin can help me with this, is we really, the, the project that we like the best of all of these was creating this big illuminated map. Okay, and I'm going to show you uh, the process by which we went by through that, and it, it would be nice. I don't know, are you thinking, still thinking about that, Kelvin? Basically, that's what we're doing. Okay, so it's, it's kind of already. It's a very, it's a